So, uh, without further ado, hey everybody, welcome back to Two Dads React YouTube channel. We're here as long as the channel stays alive because CBS has a horrible robot that does copyright claims and they don't like what we do, even though we love Star Trek and that's the whole point of this show, or well, at least part of the show. So, hey, subscribe to us now, turn on stuff, and then later on when we're not there, search for something else on YouTube that sounds about similar to this because... It'll probably be us somewhere else. I don't know. Or we're going to stop doing this. <laughs> we don't have anything better to do, and we can't hang out like most adults because of children and other shit that goes on in life. It's like trying to line up days to actually go, hey, man, do you want to enjoy time with each other? <laughs> it's fucking impossible. You're looking but, at it right now. But right, yeah. But this right here to snag an hour out of a day and be like, what's up, man? You want to just bullshit for a little bit? We can do and we do it every day anyways, so whether we're talking about Star Trek or fucking State of Decay or <laughs> Illustrator or just any bullshit of us going, here it is. We feel that the people that watch this are all the people that go, I would sit on the couch next to these guys and jump right the fuck in. And right. like, if you're just here because you're like, I got a whole <laughs> list of like YouTube people I watch, like we know we're at the bottom. That's cool. Get to us when you get to it. Right. I mean, don't, never don't get me wrong. The videos, like, the videos don't come out the day of, so yeah. you know not to look forward when they come when the show like, comes I'm out. I'm waiting for YouTube to send me a device that says, sit in this little little circle and we're just gonna upload your presence and like do it that way. Like that I'm gonna be around for that. <clears throat> Probably right. be in a wheelchair or some other shit or like a head in a jar, but I'm hoping to make it to like some what was that movie with Cruz where he could see future crimes, but like some, some gizmo -y shit like that, where I can just be like, <laughs> beep, bop, boop, boop, you know, and, and go around. Like, I want to, I want to experience one, like star Wars, star Trek, space odyssey type space thing, like on this, like where they go, dude, hop in this tube and you're in Cali. Right. Like I just want one of those before I die. Like I want something so absurd outside of Twitter and social media right like those i mean those were giant things that happened but i want that one where like you get turned into particles <laughs> and shot the fuck somewhere else i want to be part of one of those so tra so you're you're not, you're not talking transporter huh i mean no because <laughs> like i feel like that's just like owning a car and then being able to get a really nice car later in life maybe or something, right? Like it's not it's not so much of a jump from a quote unquote space shuttle to me and what we've been doing. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, I mean, everybody can do it. That's cool. But I'd be old. Like I'm like, nah, dude, I don't I don't even have time for that. Like you gotta instantaneously put my ass somewhere. Right. Or I wanna be the guinea pig for it. I wanna be like the old guy that's like, yo, man, let's make sure over sixty fives can use this. <laughs> hey. <laughs> well, so you know, we we we'll see how long this lasts. There could be strikes in our future for all we know. This is not a new thing from CBS, just for anybody who's watching who gives a shit. This is not a new thing. CBS's copyright claims department shut down their own live stream during Comic Con in twenty twenty, uh, because they were do they were reading they were reading um like they were doing a script read of one of their famous one of the, one of the big shows from Discovery and they literally like the, the stream got shut down for 20 minutes till CBS got off got off their ass and figured out that their program is super strict and you know oh shit we're blocking our own stuff yeah Crap. oops sorry yeah exactly so how do you how do you you know what are you gonna do we're a tiny YouTube channel we love everybody who subscribed to us thank you so much we're glad that you're here and uh, let's just get into episode three of Pike. I even like the riffraff that comes through because they always drop some gems. You know, it's always like something super simple. To just go be dads. You guys right. should just, I love the best ones that are like, this isn't good. You should stop. And I'm like, I like that. Like, at least they weren't like, That's you're right. a cunt and you're a piece of shit. It was just like, dude, I don't know what else to say. This was bad. Please stop. Right. <laughs> Look at look at us. Do we look like the normal YouTubers? No, we do not. Do we look like we care? We also don't. We just like sitting down and chit-chatting. So let's jump into it. However, because genetic modification is forbidden in the Federation, they have always been outcasts. G Still outlawed. Genetic Still outlawed. Modi like, we can fix the shit, but it's outlawed. Fucking idiots. I just don't like loose ends. Killed a few people in my life. 
Who's this guy? Is he wearing a red shirt? He is. Rerouting auxiliary power. Get ready. Oh yes, this dude. <laughs> Prepare for temporary engagement of emergency systems backups. I want all of his fucking dry sass. Hey, at least this time you get to watch what happens when they reroute auxiliary power. Like it dims a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's still some pretty dope ass power right there, just to be like beep beep. Engineering the transporter. Try it now. How did you? <laughs> I'm a genius. <laughs> Let us both walk our extremely firm asses through this storm, sir. <laughs> you and Mr. Spock should find shelter until the storm passes, and quickly. Copy number one. <laughs> I would hate looking up at that and someone telling me to find shelter. <laughs> like, there's not from shelter what? from this. From yeah. what? <laughs> Where? There's, Where there's am so I going to do this? Fuck us. God damn it. Ensign Lance, you all right? Oh, no. Okay, it's been a long day for all of us. Oh no. Whatever tweaks your freak, pal. <laughs> oh shit. What the hell are you doing? Ortega's just Damn. That was intense. That was rough. <laughs> well, apparently this planet's done some weird shit to people then. <laughs> That's not supposed to happen at all. Everybody I see glow like that either blows up or shoots fire. <laughs> right. I was about to call you. Are you feeling all right? I am okay. not. No, you are not. <laughs> so much so they're willing to hurt themselves to get to it. Like I bugs. You haven't exhibited any of these unusual things. Yeah, I was like waiting for like the butterfly people to be like, gotcha. <laughs> I'd like to take a blood sample nonetheless. Commander. He's like, no, nah, that's because I powered up the chamber. <laughs> Which, I might add, may well take all night. Decontamination. She's like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> She's like, I hope you can feel me walking away. <laughs> <laughs> can you sense this? Yeah. <laughs> is it me or is it dark in here? Now, she wasn't a landing party, was she? So, someone's uh, contagious. <laughs> we are initiating level 5 lockdown protocol effective immediately. All non-essential personnel... She's like, I'm a cadet. Wait, what does that mean? I gotta flip through the book. I would be blind because I would have to reference that book all <laughs> the fucking time. <laughs> right? Yo, I like, I, like, I like his... I like his... Everybody knows they get to, to do mm -hmm. what they're supposed to do. Yeah, yeah, pretty sure his rules. First one is do not fuck around. Right. And the first person that asks a question about it is like, get the fuck out. Just, <laughs> it's like you're not in engineering anymore. Yeah, you're not meant to be here. Need to go, need to go better yourself in another department. I'm telling you, man. Let me get old and let them need a guinea pig and my kids be grown. I'm like, yo, genetics. Let's go. Space travel. Let's go. I was like, and that was weird space flame dragons. I was like, was that a okay dragon? That. But then it was like more than one dragon. Yeah. Nope. Weird space snakes, space leeches, space nice. something that's going to murder you. Don't like anything about it. Right? <laughs> what are y'all Go, go, new doing? camera. Are they all sunburned and shit? What did you do that for? Oh, shit, you dude. You're lucky you're not like a ginger, man. I'd be a crispy. That's to open our auxiliary bay to handle the overflow. Contact tracing is all. Can we not sedate people in the future? <laughs> yeah, there, there's needs. Like, I feel like coma inducing at this point should just be a regular. They're like, yeah, just. Zoop, 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 zoop. Hammer, did you find anything? Of course. That's why I'm wandering around the ship. Night running diagnostics. I love this cunt. He's so great. It's so fantastic. It's you as an yeah. alien. <laughs> you want to be nice, but it's just comes out too easy it's such an arrogant <laughs> cunt it's so bad dude it's so bad and you know and you know it's something when all of your friends go oh yeah you playing a smug elf perfect perfect <laughs> please stop messing around in here what are you doing in benga i'm making things worse oh you got it too bud 
Now the now the ion flame dragon is trying to get in. That sound, indeed. Oh shit! Spot. Damn, I'm gonna fucking punch his ass. <laughs> that thing just oh, slapped the oh. shit out of you. <laughs> Any closer than that could have hit the carotid on a human. Wait, so where's your carotid as a Vulcan? I need to know that now. Or maybe they don't have one. Maybe they have a giant one because they have such an enlarged brain. Don't they have like two hearts or some shit? Mm, I don't know, actually. We know what Klingons have two of. I forgot. Penises. <laughs> From Discovery. <laughs> Penises. <laughs> the contagion travels on light. Insidious. And remarkable. Well, that's just terrifying. Hammer's like, cool guys, come into my world. Ship lights off. <laughs> Would it be too intrusive to sedate all of them? Thank you for asking this question now. Right? Like, whatever their sprinkler system is, it just puffs out a cloud and everyone's like, down. <laughs> Yeah. There we go. Shut it down. That is also terrifying. Like floating in a space vessel in just the depths of nothing with like then going baseline dark. power. Yeah. You know? Right. Like that's the equivalent of going down in a submarine to me. Yeah. Yep. Blackout override in transporter room. Danger of critical circuit overload. Commander Chin Riley to transporter room. What's going on? What are you doing, Kyle? Kyle trying to turn all them bright transporter lights on. Go lay <laughs> down on them. That does not look good. Yeah, when, uh... Did you, like, beam this? part of the sun the here? Star? Yeah, I was like, what the fuck is that? What are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing, Hammer? Especially the portion that could transport from the core of Hediment 9. We're right. It's a piece of the sun, or no? I guess it's the, the piece, core. piece of the planet's core. Okay. I'm told to be precise. <laughs> Hammer, stop! Send it back. Holy shit! <laughs> we have now witnessed lava being beamed onto a starship. Right. Oh, go girl. She fucking snatched his ass up like it was <laughs> nothing. She's like, whatever. But she did, dude. She straight up bent down and was like, yoinks. <laughs> wow, fuck, dude. Didn't even, like, lift properly. It was all arms. She's just like, I got this guy. This is nothing. <laughs> God damn. I feel like that may not have been the actor, and that may have been, like, the dummy that I saw at Mission Chicago that looked like the, all the prosthetics were on. It looked perfect. And I'm like, I wonder if that's what that was. <laughs> I am arming us with knowledge. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> well, is this like one of those things where it's trying to get there to help them because the storm's going to kill them? Right. Like, we're going to surround you. Like, you'll be fine. We are, you are protected from the ion storm. Absolutely correct, sir. We are Them here to help. Space jellyfish were like, stupid <laughs> idiots. Do you think this is going to save you? Why are there still organic things here? I know. God, don't you know you're going to die, you fleshy mass of <laughs> idiot? How in the exact hell are you carrying him? Never mind. He needs to be sedated before he leaves. <laughs> Never mind. I'm super strong. Yeah. You know what's terrifying? It's like, Basically, everybody on this ship's a genius. And this one guy was like, I'm going to teleport. Man like, can you imagine, like, when any one of these guys gets sick of, like, how terrifying they can be, like, instantly? Right. Right. Did what it was bioengineered to do. I didn't tell you earlier because I'm an Illyrian. Oh, shit. Okay. That's new to us. Your immune system literally burns out new infections immediately. <laughs> she just snatches ass like, come on, bro, stay with me here. You better put me out. No, 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 wait. We'll come up with something. There's nothing to come up with. <laughs> Uh-oh. That's the last person you want to sit up like all, a fucking Undertaker. Oh. <laughs> of all the people on that fucking ship, man. Holy <laughs> shit. Fuck that. 
<laughs> nope. Oh shit. Even if she woke up happy. Oh, we're gonna find out that like that con bio blood's got some the missing piece, right? I don't know. You need to go Valerian con human. That's how it works. <laughs> Just mix it all together. Mm-hmm. Warning. Warp core containment field has been deactivated. <laughs> She's like, you've got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> but you know what? This is our Una episode. Like, we're getting... Each person's getting their episode, man. I'm Warning. digging it. Warp core containment field has been deactivated. Uh-oh. Warp core breach imminent. <sighs> I like how she goes directly to... I, mean, I guess maybe she saw the... Maybe she saw that the uh, chair was empty, but maybe she also was like, yeah, it's who's going to be doing this if anybody <laughs> who would be there. I feel like she knew where she was laying. Yeah, that's what I kind of think it was, too. Just like she saw the bed was empty. Yeah. Danger of exposure to matter, antimatter radiation. Containment field at 75. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh! Oh! oh. That's what the other kids called me when they heard my name. Augment Monster. Like you are. Oh. <laughs> this punch is thrown with love. I still need to get this. So she used to be a flying dragon thing? No, I think she was Valyrian and had that shit put in him, but she didn't go like her body reacted the way it was supposed to when this actually happened, right? But I don't think she was there for the experiments, and I think those people that are floating around as those little space jellies are like the first children. We're creating what we saw. <laughs> it's like... Or one, of, or one of them's in there and just opened up the thing, and it's like, here's all your answers, buddy. Space is too creepy, man. I couldn't, I couldn't survive out there. <laughs> Do you feel like those are repurposed um, mycelium containers from Discovery? The ones they load I mean, into that machine they stand in front of when they throw yeah, stamens Yeah, they in probably there? have some green screen tube that just has that capsule end on it. And they're like, whatever the middle needs to be. Right. Here's yeah. the middle thing. You just yeah. do this whatever. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Man woke up. What year is it? Where am I? <laughs> like a bad afternoon nap. Man, look at those windows, man. They they go all out with the backgrounds of that stuff. CG or not, it's beautiful. That'd be a fun spot to eat at. Like every time, because there's just something different <laughs> out in space around you. Right. Instead of terraforming planets, we modify ourselves. There's nothing wrong with that. If that's what you believe, why do you hide it? Slipping that lesson right in there. <laughs> <laughs> and strawberries are my comfort food. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta share it with somebody. That's and right. Just sit there. Starfleet policy is clear. By not disclosing my genetic augmentation, worse. By enlisting in Starfleet. Have you not seen what he's done the past few episodes? Regulation and Pike are like oil and water, baby. She don't mind. <laughs> Red <Jackson. laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Come from you're the best first officer in the fleet. <laughs> According to Federation law, if you shelter me, they could come after you too. I welcome. But I know they don't, because I know my future. <laughs> But you didn't let them upgrade the medical transport when we were in space dock. I'm starting to suspect you couldn't. What you doing, Mbenga? Shows you're keeping you something in the pattern buffer. And whatever it is, you need Oh man, what is it, dude? Can't imagine what it's like to watch a child with her way. Do you think I'd be able to do something about it? Damn, dude. Yeah, that's rough. I can't endanger our crew for one life. I 
Sometimes our armor's not right. I didn't mean. And if you're pulling her out every once in a while, pull her out, upgrade it, put her back in. I think that's the thing with the upgrade is it the new upgrade wipes out anything it doesn't recognize in the system, which would uh. be them because they are sick. And it would be like, that shit's got to go. I look forward to meeting her one day. We could just talk to her and be like, yo, let's do these genetic modifications. <laughs> <laughs> we were just on a planet that literally had tubes of answers. About to say, dude, yeah, get some of that learning. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Story. Oh, fuck. Delete log entry. About to say, you can't save any of that shit. Very to all. But if it were to fall into the wrong hands, what a terrible torture. The stone's power would bring about a term. It's like an active living hell. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Whew. Had a little bit rough there. I was like, oh, damn. Yeah, they're like. We're going to give you a kind of a feel-good episode, but we're going to end it on a downer. <laughs> we're going to get you in the end. Yeah, man. I feel dirty, kind of. Like, I just... <laughs> There's just... You know, now it's like... Now in the back of my dad brain, anytime they're in combat or something, I'm going to be like, "Did the, how are the ships... Do we have everything? Did the warp core power go down during any of that? <laughs> like, do we have any problems? Yeah, right? Like, I don't care about any of the crew. I'm like, yo, is the little girl in stasis floating in particles okay Ab now? Like, oh my absolutely, god. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Like, no one's life on that ship matters at all now except for her. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> Forfeit everybody on that ship but her. Let them all die. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. You signed up for Starfleet. She didn't sign up for shit. <laughs> nope. Fuck. Cool. That would be uh, that would be episode three in the bag, and now they've yes, they, now they have set us in motion for the rest of the season. Like, okay, we got to cure the little girl. What's what else they're doing? Are, is this is this episode helping towards the doctor's daughter? Because if it doesn't, I don't give a shit. <laughs> like, we have to we have to get that because yeah. now I'm just gonna be paranoid the entire show whenever there's some sort this of like one, yeah, dude. Like they <laughs> drop that in there, and it's like okay, I. I want them to ignore it, right? Because I want to get other parts of the story and I want to see all that. But I'm with you. Like, every time I'm watching something now, I'm like, <laughs> okay, what is the beneficial purpose of what we're doing for this little girl? Absolutely. Uh, yeah. That's, if, that is not, if that is not carried over in this arch, if that is not the arch underneath yeah. the episodic tone, I don't care. It's, it's heal that little girl so she can get beamed mm -hmm. out of that transporter. Yeah, that there's sounds... got to be at least two minutes where they're like, Oh, hey, I found this breadcrumb. Right. And I think I'm going to take it back to the doctor. And then, like, the last episode, he's like, oh, hey, man, look at what I did. And then, like, pops her out and stabs her real quick with a cool little fucking gun. And yep. then she's like, do I got to go back? And he's like, no. And then credits roll. And I'm like, Ooh, all right. Right. I'm really, glad they did. I'm really glad they didn't show us how he, what he tells her when he puts her back. I mean, they, they didn't inform us in how much she knows of what's going on. She looked like she was, what, like eight? Maybe nine. Like, did he say, hey, you're dying. You have 12 weeks to live. I'm going to put you in transporter stasis till we can figure this out. There is always a possibility the transporter is going to fail and you're going to just be in fade into nothingness. But I could find a solution. Or she doesn't know anything. And it's like, what if he, like, puts her to sleep? Like, not like, but like, what if he, like, tucks her in? And, like, I'd be, I'd be, you, I'd be balling the, <laughs> the entire episode, dude. I already teared uh, up. The minute I, I saw that it was somebody who was just like, it wasn't like, like a, teenage kid it was like a kid kid i was like ooh, ooh, daddy's gonna get crying here in a second <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what it's very similar to it is watching your child go back on a weekend to their mother after spending only a weekend with them and then watching it just go away like that's what mm -hmm. he has to be going through like yeah. every fucking time and but the it's worst like a part book. is he said that she's heard this story like a hundred times and knows it so part of me goes she knows what's like doesn't know all of the details but she knows she goes into this thing and then right. daddy wakes her up and reads her a story and hopefully like that thing is just kind of like a white out you know right. like oh i don't remember i'm just here again well the next question would be how long into the 12 weeks prognosis did he go okay this is what we're doing like we're oh we're i i feel i feel like 
day one. As soon I as he so. found out, as soon as I he found so. out there was twelve weeks. Yeah, I don't. Ho- I hope it's not like eleven week and fifty nine minute. You know, and you're like, oh, you just been recycling sixty seconds. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. What I also can't see at all is the timer he has to be keeping. Like how long she's been out of the transporter pattern? Like what of her twelve weeks? What is the timer on it? I can't say that or I'll lose it. I'll, <laughs> I'll absolutely. Oh lose yeah, it. dude. Well, yeah, because you got to figure, like, if this thing is progressing to a level where they're like twelve weeks, that he he, I mean, he has to have like an internal stopwatch going on. Like you've been out time. for thirty minutes. I know, yeah, right. I know. He said like I I pull it out every so often, so it's like, okay. I'm going off the knowledge I got. So you, the, the young girl said that she's heard this story a hundred times. Right. I'm banking. All of these are from this go to sleep, wake up, go to sleep, wake up in this, in this stasis. Mm-hmm. And yeah, dude, like this. Yeah, just... I'm, I'm really fucked up now. Like, yeah. <laughs> like this show, yeah, go, this show track, just dude. fucked like, me up. <laughs> I'm too much of a dad for this kind of shit, man. Like I'm exactly. not, I'm not, I'm not equipped. I'm not equipped for that. Right. Like uh... I, can't, I can't even do awkward people. Like, going on a date in a movie where they just don't know what they're doing or like don't know how to conversate. I'm like, I can't watch this. Like this makes me feel so uncomfortable. Like it's, not, and I'm going, it's not hard, dude. Like, all you got to do is say, hello guy, you got this. Like, just, just open your mouth. And they're like, I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm like, oh, stop. Oh man. Well, Hey, all the dads watching our show and moms, uh, I hope this show messed you up as much as it did us. Uh, Thanks for watching. I remember the rest of the day. I am. <laughs> remember, do all the subscribing down below as long as our channel is still around before we get three strikes and are gone. Thanks for hanging out, and we will catch you guys next week.